pit there in the NCAA tournament for a half, and and uh, they've had a lot of success. But we had to dig down. We had to uh, get some defensive stops at key times. We had to offensively execute our offense at key times, at, at key possessions of the game. And then I thought a number of guys stepped up. You know, we, we found ourselves in foul trouble, which really, you know, gave us a few more obstacles to overcome, which, which was good for our team. Scott Wood is not going to have very many nights like that, I don't think. Um, on top of the fact that we didn't have some guys playing. So I like the fact that our guys uh, had a nice win where they had to dig down and, and get something done. Coach, when were you made aware of the situation regarding CJ and Thomas' availability? Uh, really just in the last couple of days. And, uh, you know, we have not been, our staff, when I say we, have not been involved in that and really the discussion. So, uh, you know, one thing that, that's, you know, it's part of life. I've told our team you got to play through everything. If we have a player out for injury or whatever it may be, you got to play. And I like the fact that our guys did that tonight. What is uh, the phase situations at a clearinghouse thing? Well, I think it's more of just uh, it's our own evaluation of the whole amateurism. You know, I think sometimes with international students, those things come up. You know, we're hoping it'll be quick. Uh, you know, but again, we. You know, our, our staff will do a great job with that. And again, that, that's, not, that's not atypical. It happens often with uh, international students sometimes. What, is, that, is the NCAA involved in that? Or why did it come up at this, this late day? I don't know the answer to that question. I think the first part is yes, they are. Uh, but again, I, I don't know all the details. I, I, that's, I'm not privy to all that. Can you talk about the list uh, Sean gave you? I thought Deshaun was really solid. Yeah, both ends of the floor. I like the fact that he had two-handed, tough traffic rebounds. You know, we talk about rebounding, then there's traffic rebounds where you've got, you know, guys all around you. And he went up there fundamentally sound, two hands, put them in. Defensively did a nice job. So, um, you know, he, he was very uh, effective tonight. Tyler Harris in the second half kind of gave you a little? He did. Made a big shot uh, there at the top of the key. And, and uh I like the fact for a freshman, he's got courage. He's not afraid. And, uh, you know, when you're playing against a team like that that's got so many seniors on the floor, you know, you're a little hesitant sometimes to put him in there just defensively. Are you, are you ready for that? And uh, But when he went in, I thought he did a nice job both ends of the floor. So uh, he did a good job in the exhibition game, came back and did a nice job again today. So that's, that's, that's what you got to do as a young player, and that's how you improve your minutes. I thought early in the game he was terrific in the break. Um, pushed the ball, and, and I think for him, you know, learning, you know, really in the break, you know, when to push it, when to pull back a little bit, when to find the gaps and seams, and then to make the right pass. You know, we talk a lot about, you know, the right pass, chest pass, bounce pass, air pass at the right time. He's learning all those things. I thought in the first half uh, in the break he was terrific. Nine assists tonight, only three turnovers. So he's getting better. It's going to be a process with him. But I uh, liked how he played tonight, especially early. What prompts did the coach coming off? <laughs> uh, some uh, disagreements with me and uh, the three guys in stripes. But they did a nice job. I, I just I got a little animated. Reza said he liked it, though. He, he thought that kind of <laughs> showed that you cared and that you know kind of rubbed off on them out on the court. Yeah, well. I do care, but um, you know, it's just part of part of coaching, part of being uh, over there on the sideline. What was that like since it's been a couple of years since you've been well, regular season game? Yeah, I mean, uh, I was anxious all day, you know, you, you, for me and then uh, and for our team, and so it was fun. You know, I've always felt like this is where I belong. I've said it many times. I love television, but I, I like being on this side of the court than that side. I'll do that later on in life. Do you feel like you have the personnel to, to, that suits the up-tempo uh, uh, sort of style that you want to run? Yes, I do. And uh, we, have, we have to learn how to run. And, you know, it, it's uh, a lot of people say that, and, and, you know, how efficient can you be with the ball in the break? You know, we still turn it over too many times. You know, Scott throws and hits Alex in the back, you know, at half court. And, and we, we have too many of those right now, which, which we got to clean up. But, uh, 
we're trying to play a little faster than, the, than these returning players have played before. So there is going to be an adjustment for them. Can you share a little bit of your conversation you had with Calvin um, just in terms of this incident and what you expect from him throughout the process? Well, number one, um, you, you know, he has accepted the responsibility um, and you move on. And, uh, you know, even tonight, you know, I think that, that his teammates cheer for him a lot. And you know, his role for a couple nights is to cheer for them, which he did. He did it very well. Um, like I said, the good news, and I told uh, him, is it's, you know, luckily for us, we play Friday, Sunday, Wednesday. You know, three games will go by pretty quick. It's a temporary setback. It's part of life. It's part of growing up, part of maturing in life. And uh, so uh, he'll handle it well. Real efficient outing from Richard. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. Yeah, Richard played a lot of minutes. And, and he played a lot of long, extended minutes. Some of that was because of our foul trouble. Some of it was because of the matchups guarding them. You know, Jordan, it's a tough game for Jordan. You know, they have nobody really big in there. And so, you know, for him to guard a 6'5 guy that's running all over the floor is hard. So Richard and... Uh, Deshaun were only true post players uh, that we had tonight, and uh, they could guard and play in that kind of a game. So Richard played longer than normal, uh, but I thought he was good. He got tired a couple of times, you could tell, but you know, he ran the floor early in the game, really got out and break and ran, uh, rebounded the ball really well, uh, 15 rebounds I think he had, so you know he played pretty solid. I don't know that he could have done that carrying 25 more pounds on him. I don't know that the stamina was, would have been there to survive that and to be effective. Any more questions? Yeah, Stanford or Oregon tomorrow. Excuse me? Stanford or Oregon tomorrow. Stanford. Sun playing out there, man. <laughs> Phil Cardinal. He played for the national championship in a couple weeks. All right, thank you. Any other questions?